Hey guys, welcome back to Berenice's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to solve systems of equations using the graphing method. The very first step is to get both of the equations in slope-intercept form. The slope-intercept form of any linear equation or function is y equals mx plus b. And in this equation, the m stands for the slope, and the b stands for the y-intercept. As you can see, the very first equation, which is y equals 5x minus 3, is already in slope-intercept form. So all we need to do is turn the second equation, which is 2x plus y equals 4, into slope-intercept form. And we can do that by simply moving the 2x onto the right-hand side. So if we subtract 2x on both sides, we will get y equals negative 2x plus 4, which is in slope-intercept form. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and do step two, which is graph the equation. And remember that you have to graph the y-intercept first and then add the rest of the points with a slope. So for the first equation, which is y equals 5x minus 3, this, the y-intercept is negative 3, which would go right here. And the slope is 5. And remember, slope is always rise over run or y over x. So if the slope is 5, that would mean we're going to go up 5 and then to the right 1. So we would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up, and then 1 to the right, because 5 is the same thing as 5 over 1, which is right over run. So that's our first point, and then we go up 5 again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 1. And we can go down, so that's all the points that we can plot on this graph. Let's go ahead and connect the points. Let's do that again. Right. Okay, that's better. All right, so we have our first equation graphed. Now let's do our second equation, which is y equals negative 2x plus 4. And in this, we have 4 as our y-intercept, which would go right here. And then we have our slope is negative 2 or negative 2 over 1. So we would go down 2 and then to the right 1. And then down 2, right 1. And we would keep on doing that until we can. Okay, so we have all of our points plotted for the second equation as well. So, all right, so we've completed step two, which was to graph the equation. Step three is to find the point at which the two lines intersect. And you, as you can see, that point is right here. And the point is one, two. And that is the solution to this system of equations. However, we still have to plug in the solution into both equations for verification, which is step four. So what this means is we're going to use this coordinate, which is the x value would be 1 and the y value would be 2, and plug it into our original equations to see if they work out. So let's go ahead and do that right here. For the first equation, it's y equals 5x minus 3. So it would be 2 equals 5 times 1 minus 3. And then it would be 2 equals 5 times 1, which is 5, minus 3, which is 2. And so that works out. And then for our second equation, we have 2x plus y equals 4, which would be 2 times 1 plus 2 equals 4. And we know that 2 times 1 is 2 plus 2 is 4. And so that works out as well. And so our answer is correct. So the solution to this system of equations is 1, 2. So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.